Alright guys, welcome back. Central Florida Prepper here. Uh, today, got a little bit of news for you. Things that I am connecting dots on and thinking through. This is a rabbit hole type of story here. But, some news that came across my feed last night. Well, early this morning. Um, about almost 4 o'clock this morning when this came through. Just figured I'd go ahead and share this with y'all. Uh, this report I pulled off of the great CNN. But the fact is, it gave me a story to chase down. So, let me go ahead and pull this up. And of course, I will change how I say certain things. Just so that I don't get dinged. Um, again, I will pop up the story for you. So you can, and I'll also put the links in the description box so that you can see that and also pin in the comments. Alright, so NK says it tested fired a new type of submarine launched ballistic missile. That's SLBMs. NK said it test fired a new type of submarine launched ballistic missile Wednesday. A day after Pyongyang, I know I messed it up, and Washington agreed to resume nuclear talks. The launch marks a departure from the test of short range missiles NK has carried out in recent months. State run Korea Central News Agency, KCNA, reported the new type of SLBM was a Pogosong 3. I messed that up, guys. Sorry. It's not my second language. <clears throat> the new type ballistic missile was fired in vertical mode, <clears throat> KCNA said. The test fire scientifically and technically confirmed the key tactical and technical issues of the newly designed ballistic missile and had no adverse impact on security of neighboring countries. Now, we'll pop up a little picture there of this thing coming through the water. What's interesting about this story, like I said, I'll put the link up for you. They said, the United States said that this missile test was shot off of a barge-like platform designed for underwater launches. This picture here, that's not being shot off a barge. That's coming from underneath the water. Alright, now, did they sink the barge? Does it have some type of capabilities where it sinks below water to launch? And then they just float the barge back up. I don't know that. But for a long time, the U.S. kept saying that NK does not have a submarine. <clears throat> does not have a submarine. Doesn't have the capabilities of this. But here it is. Alright. So, Central Florida, why is that an issue? There's been a lot of issues. There's a lot of issues with that. One, they're downplaying the strength of NK. Two, this type of missile. Let me go ahead and go over the specifics for you. Alright, this particular one, East Coast, Wednesday morning, and flew towards East Sea, also known as Sea of Japan, for a distance of 450 kilometers, 280 miles. Before landing in the waters of Japan. Oh, that's no big deal. It's only 280 miles. It reached the altitude of 910 kilometers, 565 miles. I want you to keep that number in your head. Because with this, I want to go back to <clears throat> high nuclear explosions all right the things that create EMPs or even EMP weaponry okay so 
for a high yield explosion of approximately 10 megatons detonated 320 kilometers 200 miles above the center of the continental US almost the entire country as well as parts of Mexico and Canada would be affected by EMP so they have the technology there's been rumors of them working on EMP weaponry all right even a 10 a uh, 10 megaton nuclear warhead launched on one of these mid-range ballistic missiles that they just tested would reach an altitude high enough to shoot above the central part of United States. It's up high enough, detonate, there's your EMP. I know I've been harping the last couple of videos on EMPs because it is a concern of mine. I think that would be one of the main um, avenue other countries or even this country will use. Now if it is this country that uses it against the American people, its own people, it'd be quite easily to blame North Korea. I mean now they're they're showing photos of their their submarine now that, that first denied they even had helicopters, sorry guys. This news choppers already took a look at it earlier today. They've been flying over the last 20 minutes. Get down! Get to the chopper! Uh, it's just so loud when they fly overhead because they're not flying that high. Which is ridiculous. See if I can pull. I do. I did take some photos last night. I'll be popping those up of their submarine. Now, let me throw this out there for y'all. All right. So now I'm saying that our government would attack American citizens with this. Now we all saw. Hopefully, all of us seen it. The infrastructure report talking about an EMP or a CME hitting our power grid taking everything down 90% of Americans would die the first year a lot of people oh well that doesn't mean I don't, I don't know why so many people are so closed-minded when you got somebody telling you you need to start preparing we can't we can't save you from this but they're real quick. Oh well, that's not exactly a DHS report. That is a group of people that reported to the DHS. All this bullcrap. The fact is, the threat's there. All right. Now, if you want to stick your head in the freaking sand with your ass up in the air, be my guest. Okay. Be my guest. Don't come knocking my door. You're not gonna like what you find. All right. But as for everyone else, we take threats like this. We don't freak out about it, get all scared. We act on it. We prepare for it. Now, part of the EMP theory of a foreign country doing this to America, they have talked about in the past of bringing barges in, especially into the Gulf of Mexico. All right, there's a lot of barges there, trust me. I worked out in the Gulf of Mexico plenty of times. And launching from there, or a shipping container launching off of that. Now they have submarine. Now there's reports that say, oh, well, they're not completed with the submarines. You don't think that NK uses this military just like the United States when a photo gets released of something it was intentionally let go. They've already been using something for years. Not, oh, we caught them in the middle of something. They were still eight years away from testing this. No, they're not stupid. 
everyone just wants to downplay these other countries and go, well, yeah, but they're not really that technological, they're not that technical advanced, you know, they don't have this, really, if that's what you want to believe, you go ahead, I'm going to say that you are very misled and kind of closed-minded if you're going to be that way. Now, the reason I keep on bringing up EMPs, well, I've talked about them in the past. If power goes out, what are people going to do? If an EMP goes off, you're not going to be able to get fuel without access to fuel. Food production's gone. Food transportation's gone. The stuff in the stores, gone. It won't take long to clear out a store. If it is a nationwide event, FEMA's not going to be there. There's no way. They're spread too thin. There's no way. All right? Let's just say half of the country got hit and went out. Death toll's still going to be a huge amount of people. It's not going to be, well, half the country's still running, so we'll be okay. No. What are they going to do? Evacuate half the country onto the other side of the other half? That's not going to work either. The other side of the country doesn't have the infrastructure to bring in the other half the population over. Well, we'll just live out in the woods, man. It ain't no big deal. We don't need electric electricity. Have you ever done it? I'm not trying to insult anybody here. I just want you to start thinking. I mean, really think. What would you do? Do you have alternate alternative means of creating energy? Do you know how to build a fire? Be amazed how many people do not know how to use make a fire. Um, do you have security? Do you have firearms, ammunition, ready to go just in case you need to defend yourself? All right. So again, I'm not trying to insult anybody. I just want you to start thinking. Not be fearful, alright? Don't be fearful of this information. None of this information. You take this information, you check it out, you research it on your own, and you make a plan off of it. Hopefully, I have stressed that out enough for everybody in the past. Um, never been on the fear, mong fear mongering wagon but information and awareness is not fear mongering sticking your head in the sand because you don't want to hear something you know that's what you have a right as a person to do do I recommend it? definitely not I value my life I value the life of my family when I get reports like this and I start connecting things together and looking at them, I'm like, no, okay, so I need to start prepping. I need to start preparing for that situ situation too. And I've said in the past, most of your preps work hand in hand with multiple disaster types. All right, EMP, okay, power goes out. Well, we also prep for storms, which power goes out all the time. Generators, fuel, renewable energy, solar, things like that. So we have a way of generating power. I just did a video on the Faraday cage yesterday. I stuck it somewhere. It's over there. Um, that's only one of ours. Because we have a lot of different electronics that we want to be able to use if things go bad. Now, our drills, grinders, things like that, will they be okay without a Faraday cage? Well, you know, it's possible. They're not hooked up to the, to the grid. They're unplugged, stored away. So yeah, they might be okay, but instead of taking a chance, yeah, we went ahead and put those in Faraday cages too. Having power tools to rebuild stuff, having power tools to lock down a location for security purposes, building up defenses, it's going to be a lot easier than trying to take a nail and drive uh, drive through two by fours trying to block a door up and stuff. Uh, I'm not saying it can't be done, I'm just saying it's a lot easier. Another question. Do you have nails? No, but the hardware store's got them. That's all. You, 
you're going to be able to drive down to the hardware store and if there's no power is the hardware store going to be open or is it going to be already looted by the time you finally get over there so anyway guys just something to think about again i will put those links up for those stories uh so you can um, follow up on it on your own it is concerning that they're releasing this bit of information out and they keep downplaying oh well they don't really have the ability yet to do anything but prior they talked about if they ever got the capabilities to do a underwater launch from a submarine it would be a huge threat on the United States because you can't track where that missile is being launched from is one thing to look at launches from ground all right we know where it's at we can track trajectory all that good stuff we already see it we can send in a strike team or bomb the crap out of it and no more threat well with a submarine you don't know where it's at until it pops up and launches and then you only have minutes before it hits its target it ain't several minutes it's only a few minutes all right if one sitting up in the gulf and decided to launch it only took a couple minutes to get over the central part of the united states all right so anyway guys keep up your preps um we're gonna work on a video tonight with my wife we get our um, legacy food review video done tonight um hopefully i'll get it out tonight it might be released tomorrow just depends Anyway, guys, y'all take care, and I'll speak to y'all later.